In the 113th Psalm, verses 7 and 8, we read, He raises the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy out of the ash heap, or the dunghill as the King James has it, that he may seat him with princes. The wonderful grace of God in taking those who are discarded by this world and received and elevated and restored by God himself. I'm going to tell a little story on myself. I had been invited to preach at a conference on evangelism out in the west coast of Canada. I was in Canada at the time, although living in Michigan, and I have a green card. I'm an immigrant to the United States, but I don't have citizenship, and so I depend on a Canadian passport and my green card to enter those countries. And I can't get back into the United States without my green card. Well, this is just after September 11, and crossing the borders was quite an ordeal. I was in a line of cars crossing into the United States from Canada, and it was miles long, and we were just creeping along side by side. It was very hot. I had my air conditioner off and the windows open. Well, it wasn't too long until eventually I was approaching the the gate where I was going to have to speak to the custom agents and I reach for my wallet where I keep my green card and it wasn't there and I looked under the seat and everywhere I could think of and it wasn't anywhere to be found so that eventually when I got to the gate I had to say I'm sorry I'm going to have to go back I've obviously left my wallet with these documents further back up the road and so They led me eventually around into a circle and back out into Canada again. And the problem was that if I couldn't get into the United States, my flight out was from Grand Rapids, Michigan, up to Vancouver the next morning, and I was going to miss my conference. And so I was very concerned. I traveled about 30 miles back until I came to an off-ramp that took me to the place where I had stopped for my supper. And when I got there, no, they hadn't seen my wallet. But they said, you're welcome to dig through the garbage if you like. It may have been thrown into the garbage. And so they gave me the little plastic gloves and I began to work through all of the slop, the old hamburgers and French fries and drinks and everything that had been dumped into the garbage. I dug through several bags of this garbage and I never did find my wallet back into the car, driving another 30 miles back until I came to a roadside spot where I had got a drink. And by this time, it was getting late, and I walked in, and the store where I had purchased my drink was closed. Well, I went down to a coffee shop that was a 24-hour arrangement, and I said, there's no way, is there, that someone turned in a wallet and left the responsibility with you regarding Uh, giving it back to the owner. And she said, well, what does it look like? And she went back in and uh, she talked to the manager, obviously, in the back room. And she came out and and said, what is your name? And as soon as she did, I thought there's a ray of hope. And uh, eventually she went back with the information. And soon the manager came out with my wallet. If only you knew how happy I was to see that wallet and to be grateful to those people who had kept it for me. Well, as I got back in the car and headed back to the border, uh, the Spirit of God began to nudge me, began to communicate with me the fact that I had been going to this evangelism conference and God wasn't at all sure that I really cared about the lost enough. And so he gave me a little object lesson, a little parable. And he asked me, uh, how far were you willing to drive for a lost wallet? And how much garbage were you willing to dig through to find it? And the application became pretty obvious, didn't it? Was I willing to go a hundred miles to talk to a lost soul? Was I willing to dig through the filth and the garbage surrounding those who are wallowing in their sin in order to rescue them for the Savior's sake? I think of two evangelists that went into a garbage dump in 
India, outside of Mumbai to preach the gospel. Or two young ladies who work in um, a market of thieves, teaching the children of thieves. All over the world, people working with lepers, working with AIDS patients, working in the most despicable situations. And the question is, am I willing to go where he sends me so that he might raise the poor out of the dust and lift the needy out of the dunghill to set them with princes? Mm -hmm.